Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner in my van. How are you guys doing today? Well, it is Thursday. Gracious, I don't know the date, the 12th? January 12th? I'm not sure. And it is at about 11.06 here and I'm just leaving my neighborhood and I'm on my way over to get my hair done to get it colored and trimmed up just a smidge. So I thought I would do a car chit chat answer your questions video here. And this is going to be a standalone just car chit chat just answer your questions video. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I have a frog in my throat this morning. My goodness gracious, I'm sorry. Uh, I am about half an hour away from my beautician so I may be able to get all of these answered in that amount of time I think I've got eight questions one or two of which have a couple of little questions in with the main question so thank you guys so much for the questions and thank you for being curious I want to know a little bit more about me and Chris <laughs> who will not come in cam on camera, by the way. Uh, one of you guys said that you wish that he would, you know, we could introduce, I could introduce you to him. And I feel like you all know him anyway. You know what kind of an awesome man he is. He is such a, a great helpmate to me. Uh, he's always willing to do stuff with me and for me that I can't do. And <clears throat> he and I make a good, great team, actually. We, we really do a great, uh, creative team so uh, but anyway I have, I have your questions all <laughs> typed up here on a piece of paper and you can see the big font because I obviously can't read it if it's little because I have my glasses on so let's get started with this uh, let's see first question Tammy Osborne ask how did you and Chris get into cruising well, I'll tell you, back in 2007, okie dokie, sorry you guys, I got a phone call from Kristen, and I did not, I've been putting my phone on airplane mode, but I didn't this time, because I knew she was sick, and she had to leave school, she never leaves school, she's really sick, so, anyway, she never, 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 never leaves school, she's very, she hadn't even hardly taken a day off in her over decade of teaching. <sighs> Poor thing. Anyway, all right, uh, back to the question. What did I say? Tammy Osborne asked how and Chris and I got into cruising. And like I was getting ready to say, uh, the, our first cruise was to Alaska and it was 10 years ago, 2007. And it was Chris's idea, actually. It was Chris's idea. He wanted to <clears throat> go to Alaska, and he had heard somewhere or read somewhere about Alaskan cruises, and I thought he was cuckoo crazy. I said, are you kidding? Why in the world would I want to cruise in a cold climate? Cruising's for, you know, like to go to the Caribbean and whatnot. And uh, he said, no, I want to cruise in Alaska. I want to see Alaska. I want to see the glaciers. And I was like, oh my Lord. All right. You know, I, I made the ultimate sacrifice and compromise as a wife. You know, I said, yes, yes, yes. All right. We'll go to Alaska on a cruise. Well, y'all, I was eating my words uh, when we got to about an hour out of Anchorage while still on the plane going. I looked out the window and all I could see was ice fields and glaciers and snow-capped mountains and the beauty that I saw out of that plane's window was unsurpassed just unsurpassed so I was hooked from then on and we've gone like I said to Alaska uh, six times two that were this past September and uh, we might have another one in the queue <laughs> for next season so you know it's just that's how we started cruising and I love cruising it's all-inclusive it is pricey 
but we don't do anything else. So we save, you know, throughout the year. We usually try to do two a year. Uh, one, if it's really pricey, like this last Alaskan one was, we only did one cruise in 17, in 2017, because that's all we could afford, honestly. It was, it was a pricey cruise doing the back to back. Uh, but that had been on my bucket list for ever since that first cruise over a decade so that's how we got into cruising it was Chris's idea and he created a monster out of me <laughs> plus I'm a planner I love to plan stuff like that so that's how we did it so there was question number one let me see question number two uh, is from Tanya Combs get around this turn here kind of on a back road uh, Ireland I love the stuff <laughs> and I have a question how do you keep the dust off of everything is there any particular thing you use for dusting all of your decor uh, as far as what I used to dust my tables with I actually use Bona, B-O-N-A. You can find it at like Home Depot or Lowe's or uh, Bed Bath & Beyond in a concentrated form and you mix it with water. And that's actually what our builder told us to use on our wood floors. So that's what I use on my wood furniture to dust. And that's when you see my, me with my big spray bottle, that's what that is, that's Bona. And I just use a regular dust rag, you know, dust whatever rag to you know dust my wooden furniture use Windex for my windows <laughs> I use Comet for my toilets <laughs> and uh, you know uh, for my pit berries and for uh, my accent pieces like that I dry dust them I won't put them in water because they will bleed and get that color whatever color your pit berries are all over the place so I don't use water on them I just dry dust with a duster you know like from Swiffer like a duster and I just dust them you know I vacuum all the time we vacuum all the time because of the dogs and the dog dander dander so we you know uh, definitely keep up with things and then we have a special cleaner for the hardwood floors that was quite pricey that Chris bought after we moved in and it really deep cleans the floor as well and there are times when I just take the Bona with a with like a Swiffer mop or with like a dust mop and take the Bona over the floor like in between those we don't do that all the time because that can hurt you know if we do it too much it'll hurt the floors so we do that probably once every couple of months the deep cleaning so but it was a pricey machine anyway that's what I use to clean <laughs> uh, kind of old-fashioned I guess I don't use any of I see Mrs. Myers all over the place I don't use that you know and I'm just you know I use what I've always used and what's worked for me so there was number two all right number three Arlen what is the paint color of your dining room and living room and where did you purchase your paint the paint color is called perfect grayish and it is actually a Sherwin Williams color uh, but we took the swatch to uh, Home Depot and had them mix it for us because we actually like their paint better and we got their best paint and which I can't remember what that is I have it written down somewhere but I did not think to get that information for you guys um, but anyway we had it mixed at Home Depot with their best paint and it's uh, full coverage with one coat and it really does it well we were painting over a light wall though but it covered the uh, the lighter paint and that was uh, the builders grade paint that we had in our house you know that was ever is everywhere except for the living room and dining room and now the powder room that's painted the same color and I'd like that color throughout the house that's where I, I would really like to have that color throughout the house so perfect range from Sherwin Williams all right uh, that was from Karen Reed did I say that sorry if I didn't that was from Karen Here's from Crafty Nan. This is number four. I know you mentioned you live in Virginia. Do you live anywhere near the real Waltons, where the real Waltons lived? Nope, we sure don't. <laughs> in fact, we live several hours away from them. So, 
so I think like three, three or four hours away from where they, where the real Walton's house was. Great question though. Okay, uh, five, Cindy. Hi, Cindy, Cindy Callis. I do have a question though that perhaps you have told us, but I can't recall, she said. What kind of tea do you like to drink? You know what, I meant to grab a tea bag and I was in a hurry when I ran out of the house and didn't think to grab one. It's um, celestial, is it celestial seasons? Seasoning, celestial, oh my goodness. I don't remember. Maybe I can put a, a stick a picture of a, of a curing cup that I use right here. Right here. Uh, but I use uh, Keurig at home, and then I even take it. Chris even bought me some for when we do cruise, and I take it, and he goes and gets me hot water in the morning, and I use my own tea bag because I don't like the any of the choices. That, they have a lot of choices. I'm just picky. I'm, I'm just picky. I don't drink a lot of seasoned tea. I do like a ginger tea, and somebody had mentioned, too, about that tea we all made back in the 70s. Remember that? The friendship tea? Love that stuff. And I do have a recipe for that. I should make up some of that. But I do love that it was with the orange and the what is it um, cinnamon and spice. It, that's good. I like that. But I'm not. I really am, am really just like that celestial whatever it is that you just saw teas. <laughs> that's what I drink. I don't drink milk or cream or anything in it. I drink it just with a couple of uh, sweeteners and sometimes sugar. Sometimes I'll put just plain sugar in it, and I like it sweet because I like my sweets. So what I drink okay let's see I only have three more I think I'm gonna make it till we get over there let's see Christina Tea Garden. did you go to college and if so what was your major I'm at a stop sign stop right here and my second question is have you ever worked outside the home thank you for sharing your life with us you are really welcome Christina I enjoy sharing my life with you guys I did go to college I did go to college I went for a couple years uh, and I met Chris when I was six credits short of my AA <laughs> and I didn't and I had to go back another semester I would have had to after we were married and this is terrible to say but I never did I never did finish my AA and I was going for to be an executive secretary so I type really 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 fast I can type over a hundred words a minute uh, I can take shorthand which nobody ever uses anymore <laughs> but I could take it uh, and I think that really helped me with my uh, my organizational skills although I've always been an organized person you know but I think that that helped me with my organizational skills and I enjoyed college I really did I did not I didn't ever have enough confidence in myself uh, now I know I'm a smart lady and I have the capacity to learn but I had uh, self-esteem issues when I was younger believe that or not <laughs> I don't really have those anymore but when I was in high school and stuff, I, I had a uh, very low self-esteem, very, very low self-esteem, very shy, very, very shy. I couldn't, uh, I think I might have told you the story about how at my first job, when I was still in high school, I worked for a wrestler steakhouse, which is no longer in existence. But the very first, my very first night on the job, I had to do drinks. I had to just say to somebody, hi, what would you like to drink? And they would tell me, you know, Coke, Diet Coke, you know, iced tea, coffee, whatever, you know. And I was so shy that I was just about having a panic attack standing there thinking that I had to talk to these people. So, thankfully, the manager at the place at the time was one of my dad's old students and recognized my last name and came up to me and he said, are you my dad's daughter? And I went, yeah. And that had been about the 50th time or more that somebody had asked me that in my life. And I said, yes, I am. He goes, oh my gosh, I loved him. He was great. He was so good to me in school. I will stand right here with you until you get comfortable with asking these people for, you know, what they want to drink. I'm sure he thought I was some kind of interesting person. <laughs> Who knows what he thought of me, but he was so kind. He stood there and he... Uh, stayed with me pretty much for the evening 
But after that, the rest is history. I pretty much came out of my shell after that. I found out that people were not gonna hurt me just by telling me what they wanted to drink. <laughs> and I found that I love people and I love to interact with people and I love to talk with people. I'm, I'm an extrovert now. How can an introvert go to an extrovert? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just how a shy extrovert can go to an, you know, an extrovert, not a not shy extrovert. I'm not shy. I'll talk to anybody, anybody. Uh, have I ever worked outside of the home? I did when we were first married as a manicurist, as a matter of fact, uh, and pedicurist. And um, so I did do that. <clears throat> Other than that, I volunteered uh, pretty much my whole married life. Or my whole, uh, I volunteered the entire time the girls were in school. Um, and when they were in high school, they were both in marching band and I was actually the band parents president for seven years six seven years and um, that was very rewarding hard work hard hard work very rewarding though and I loved it I loved every second of it I loved being able to help the kids and the parents alike and that was that was a great time in my life uh, I did I was in business with a friend of mine for uh, several years or a couple well not for very long a couple years we had a crafting business and we took our uh, we made draft stopper bunnies and uh, little rag dolls and we made their clothes made them out of muslin we made their clothes and we made bunnies and bears and lambs and the whole bit I don't have any of that stuff anymore and I have not sat down at a sewing machine since because I burned myself out. I was not a sewer to begin with. Uh, my friend taught me how to sew and then we went into business because I, I had an aptitude for sewing. I got, I think I have an aptitude for crafting, you know, whatever I craft. I will not quilt though because <laughs> I'm terrible at math and I just, I, I like to have my crafts done, <clears throat> excuse me, immediately. I'm, a, I'm kind of a not a patient person. I like to have them done immediately. So we anyway, had that for a couple years, but then she moved and I kept it going for a few months by myself, but it was just about killing me. I had to replenish stock when it sold out of these shops. We were also doing home, um, home shows, uh, much like a Tupperware show. We would go into people's homes. They would pick what they wanted and what clothes they wanted out of the materials we provided. And then we'd give ourselves six weeks to make you know, our order and then deliver it. So it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. And at that time I did not have a very big house and I was my sewing machine. Chris had made me a sewing machine table that would um, fold down into itself. And I had it sitting in my laundry room, which was not very big. It was about six by six. So I was, I, I didn't have a room to put anything in. Our house was, you know, just, anyway, regardless, <clears throat> that's, I worked at that. It didn't make a lick of money. It didn't make a lick of money <laughs> because, you know, we bought the materials and whatever we made, whatever money we made, we poured right back into the business. <clears throat> I, I very rarely had a profit. Very rarely had a profit. So, also, I know myself, and that's why I was saying to you guys that I don't think I'm going to be doing a video every day. Uh, I'm very organized, and I love doing my videos, and I do not want to get burned out. I do not want to get burned out. I will always be decorating, no matter whether I'm doing YouTube or not, uh, because that is my passion. My decorating and my crafting is my passion, other than God and my family, of course, but of my hobbies, you know, of things that I do. I love those things. So I am just about to my hairdresser. So I might need to save these last two questions for when I get done. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to sort of save these last two questions until I'm back in the van on my way back home. I think I'm going to run to Joanne's too. Because Joanne's is over here. Are you going to go, buddy? No, he's sitting at a stop sign and I'm going to go. All right, I'm going. All right, so I'll be back in a little while. Okie dokie, you guys. I'm back, and I actually came to Joann's and really didn't find too much at Joann's. I found uh, three lengths of some deco mesh. Everything was on uh, 
75% off sale for Christmas. All their Christmas stuff was 75% off. So I did get like a red and red and white, or I got a white, excuse me, I got a white and red and white and a white and kind of like a creamy color. I don't know if I'll ever use them or what I'll use them for. I don't have any plans. <laughs> but I thought for 75% off, I don't want to pass that up. Anyway, I'm fixing to stop at a Chinese place on the way home to pick us up some dinner. So I will continue on with my questions now. I'm going to pull out of the parking lot here. I have two more questions. The first one is from Three Stinkers. <laughs> I have a question. Do you and your husband have any travel plans for 2018? And let me go get out of my parking place first. And as I alluded to a little earlier, uh, we try to do two cruises a year and we normally don't do anything else unless we maybe go to a beach, which we haven't done in years. Uh, so. We in fact do have two cruises planned this year. Uh, one to the Caribbean, which we've never been and I'm looking forward to it. And we're gonna do uh, Alaska again because as I've told you guys, I am the admin to on one of the princess Facebook groups. So we are doing a group cruise. So we are gonna be able to meet, me and the other admin are both gonna be on that cruise and we are gonna be able to meet some of the people that we've met through our group. So we're doing that this season too, the, the Alaska season. So, yep. And then after that, I'm not sure where we'll go next. I have a couple of, oh my land, this guy is flying. Goodness gracious, the speed limit's 40. They're going about 70 down this road. Where's a cop when you need them, you know, or want them? Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, I would like, there's a couple places I'd like to cruise and that we have not cruised before. One is Northern Europe. I would love to see all of the glaciers up in Iceland. I'm not really a real warm uh, now that we've done Alaska and the and done the uh, cold, goes my deco mesh. The uh, the cruise in cold weather, <laughs> I really like that, and I would love to see the fjords and the uh, glaciers in Iceland and Greenland and all of those places. And Jane, I know I think you live in Ireland, right? I could come visit you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but I'd like to do that. I'd like to do the, uh, the Panama Canal. That's hot. Now that is a hot, hot, hot weather. That's a hot cruise. Uh, but I love the cruise ship that does the Can Panama Canal. I love the Coral Princess. It's not one of those big massive ships. It's a smaller cruise ship. And I really like, that's one of our favorite ships that always does Alaska. And when we go to Alaska, we usually do that ship. So, but other than that, I'm not sure. I'd like to do the Mediterranean, but who wouldn't? <laughs> Uh, so we'll see. I'm not sure what's coming up in the, in the, in the future. I don't know. Okay, so number eight and my last question is from Designing Like Holly. I was wondering what made you decide to start a YouTube channel. I know I've heard you say you had a blog. Have you always decorated in the country style and do you have a regular job? <laughs> That's a lot of questions, Holly. <laughs> Uh, what made me decide to start a YouTube? I'm going to wrap it all into one. First, no, I do not have a regular job. Chris is now retired. And as I said before, I've, I've never really worked uh, for money outside of the home except for uh, when I had we had that little business and when I was a manicurist and I didn't make a lot of money. I've never had a career, so to speak. In fact, I'm probably busier now with my YouTube channel than I have been in in many years and I'm I, I love the busyness of it but uh, no I've never worked outside the home and I've always volunteered my time though um, generously <laughs> and uh, what made me start decide to start a YouTube channel well let me tell you my blog story first and how I decided to start my blog 
and uh, well let me back up even from there and say let me start by saying have I you know answer your question have I always decorated in country in the country theme and no I haven't uh, because only because I didn't know what I liked for a long long time I didn't know uh, that I liked country in fact when we first got married we had a home interior uh, bridal shower <laughs> and I picked all oriental stuff like vases and uh, a picture and we had a, a lamp that had kind of an oriental uh, design on it and you know I thought that was so pretty and uh, you know we had blue furniture really light powder blue furniture was really pretty that Chris actually had when we got married so uh, I thought that was a pretty way to decorate and then as I grew older and as our kids grew and, you know, we moved into uh, our first house and then our second house, my taste started to change and I used to go to craft shows all the time uh, with my girlfriends. Back when our kids were little and they were in school and we jet off and go, not jet off, drive off <laughs> and go to, you know, the local craft shows and whatnot. And I really fell, that's when I really fell in love with country, with the country themed uh, accent pieces. I've never been into a really primitive country. I wouldn't say that that is one of my favorite um, parts of the country decor. I don't really care for that. I, but I love uh, baskets and uh, primitive, not primitive, but uh, like the willow tree. I think of them as country. I think of, you know, I, I pip berries and, you know, I have quite a mixture of decor in my house, you know, and I, and uh, sometimes I wonder if I'm really country, although I feel like I, my decor is country with my plaids, you know, the plaids ribbon and the plaid tablecloths and, you know, the quilted runners, all of that stuff I feel like is, is warm and cozy. The plates, the signs with all of the scriptures on them and things like that, I feel like that is, you know, kind of a country look. So, uh, I guess that was in the early 80s, I guess, when I started to really get into that. <laughs> and I think I've told you the story where me and my girlfriends, we would travel from house to house to house with our stencil brush in our hand. <laughs> and we would stencil everybody's house. So, in the 80s, all of our houses and every room in our house was stenciled. So that was a big deal for a while. Remember sponge painting? We did sponge painting too. We would go to each other's houses and do sponge painting. <laughs> so all of that led to, you know, a country decor too. So, and I live in Virginia and there is, you know, a, a lot of country decor, you know, at the fingertip. It's easily found here in Virginia. So I think that's the reason, and, and, and well-priced. I didn't have a lot of money uh, back then at all. And, you know, I, the girls came first and their needs came first and my decor came second so that's when I started to make you know some of the stuff that I I saw in stores and whatnot and couldn't afford to buy so I started to make it and that's when I kind of figured out oh my goodness well maybe I have a little bit of an aptitude for this crafting business and wreath making and centerpiece making and you know designing like my cozy corners and how to put pictures on a wall and how to arrange furniture and all of that all of that stuff I just found that I I apparently have a niche for that kind of stuff but who knew you know so I would share my stuff on my Facebook at first you know I've had Facebook since like 2008 and I would share you know oh well here's my you know my fall decor I just put this stuff up and you know it was well, very well received on, on Facebook. So, and then I would put up my Christmas decor and I have a dear friend, her name is Liz. Hi Liz, hi Stella, if you guys are watching. Love you guys, love you Liz. Um, Liz is the one that reached out to me. Liz is a blogger, she's a food blogger. She has wonderful cookbooks. I'll see if I can get you some links to her cookbooks if you'd like to try some of her wonderful food. She is awesome and uh, she is the one that encouraged me to start a blog and I will give you a link to her blog too and um, but she is the one that encouraged me to start start my blog so that's where I started my kind of uh, 
social media life, I guess, you know, was with my blog. And it grew a little bit, uh, you know, through the years. I, I was only on it about a year. I only had my blog for about a year, year and a half when I got my YouTube channel. And um, I not only share my about my crafting on my blog, but I also share, you know, about our dogs and our travels. If you want to read all about my travels. I also have another YouTube channel. I don't know whether all of you are aware of this, but I have an Ari Lynn's Travels YouTube channel. <laughs> so you can go over there and uh, see about our travels. I need to add some stuff to that one. I don't have nearly the subscribers on my travels as I do here with my crafting, but I don't put as much work into my travel channel. Uh, we don't do as much traveling as I do crafting, obviously. So, but anyway, since my blog grew, Liz also encouraged me. She said, you have such a nice voice is the way she called it and a presence is the way she you know she kind of said that I'm I'm sweet and I you know I present myself well I you know bless her heart I love her to death you know and I'm like yeah right okay Liz you are out of your mind and she said you should get on and do one of your lantern center pieces or a wreath or something like that and do it on YouTube and put it out there you should have your own TV show and I'm like you are you know you're a crazy girl and but I took the step and I tried it and here I am you know lo and behold I try I I had made videos a while back um, for many years I've made videos of the dogs I have another channel called Newf Mama N-E-W-F-M-A-M-A -A -M -A. Uh, and that is some old videos of our dogs you know so if you want to go check that out I'll see if I can remember to put a link for that in the description too um, N-E-W-F-M-A-M-A -A -M -A. and um, so I have that too so I had a, a YouTube channel and that doesn't have very many subscribers that channel doesn't either uh, but it wasn't until I started my channel for my crafting that it it seemed to take off and here I am seven I went to 7.5 I think overnight <laughs> subscribers it's it's amazing and it and and it blows me away every time and by the way you guys if you look at my views I've now surpassed 1 million what 1 million views I I can't even fathom a million people looking at my stuff I can't even fathom that that goes beyond my little brains comprehension so but anyway, that's why I decided to start a YouTube channel because my friend encouraged me to and she thought that I could share and help other people. And, and that is why, that's my bottom line there too, why I keep doing my, my YouTube channel. My, my goal is not to make money with it. For the longest time, I did not become monetized. The only, time, only reason I became monetized was because they gave me more options you know to to manipulate my YouTube like I can schedule um, my videos to go up I couldn't do that before I was monetized and I am making a little bit of money per month you know uh, it's certainly not gonna you know like I'm not gonna become a millionaire or anything anytime soon for sure you guys but I, I have I'm making enough to cover my crafting and that was my goal when I went when I monetized too I would like to make enough money to cover my supplies and what I do for my decorating and my crafting and it is it's covering that and that is a real bonus when you're retired you know that I can use my money or whatever we've never looked at it like that we've never looked at it like that it's always our money whatever you know uh, but but the ability if if I am if I've touched one person just one person and and have helped one person have a little bit more confidence in themselves and feel like they might want to try to do one of my crafts or try to make a bow or try to do a lantern or try to make a wreath you know any of that or try to make up a cozy corner you know then I will have done what my goal what uh, I would will have accomplished my goal or one of my goals my goal was always just to help people never to you know I, I don't like negativity as you guys know and you've seen me delete comments. I don't know whether if you've seen the negative comment 
and then see it gone, you've seen me delete it. But I'll tell you, I don't, I don't let negative comments sit there. Uh, I, you know, I'm a very positive person and positivity breeds positivity and negativity breeds negativity. And I cannot stand negativity in any way, shape or form. It really, that just grates on my last nerve. So, but that's why I started my YouTube. Is that all the questions? Did I get them all? <laughs> I think I answered all of those questions, right? <laughs> Coming up here to a stoplight, I'll check through them one more time. Now, Vicki, I told you that I would be at my uh, my island doing this, and I did, and I, and I, I fibbed. I didn't know I was going to do this car chit chat, though. But I thought, you know, how fun to do a car car chit chat and answer questions. Let's see. I'm wondering what you mean. So I started YouTube. I know I've heard you say had a blog. And have you always decorated in the country? Do you have a regular job? Uh, my blog's name is also uh, Country Craft Corner. Countrycraft.me is the site address. I'm also on Instagram, Arlen's Country Craft Corner. On Instagram, I am not on Pinterest. I mean, I'm, I am on Pinterest, but I'm not on. Um, I don't do much with my Pinterest. I don't go to Pinterest that much, you guys. I'm not one to go to look for ideas. I like to use my own ideas. You know, if, I, if I'm if i really wanting to do something, I will go search YouTube or search Pinterest, something new uh, sometimes. But I try to, usually I try to come up with stuff myself. Um, trying to think what else I can tell you about me. I'm a Christian. I was raised in a Christian home. Raised my children in a Christian home. love dogs as you all know I really I'm an open book you guys I really am I'm an open book I'm not one of those you know I'm I've always been you know everybody wants me to be careful and uh, you know because negative people are out there and I know and, and everybody knows that I'm very sensitive I'm a very sensitive person I don't like to be sensitive but I am that's just part of who I am too and you know I, I kind of wear my heart on my sleeve and uh, you know, when I opened my PO box, Kristen warned me. She said, "No, mom, be careful." You know, with that. But, but anyway, anyway, I have a PO box too now. Uh, Arlen's Country Craft Corner. <laughs> it's a theme. Uh, PO box two five two five, Spotsylvania, Virginia two two five five three. I need to go check that. I haven't gotten anything yet. So I need to go check that. Maybe we'll do that this weekend and I'll let you know if I got anything. So, but anyway, that's about it, you guys. I guess that's about all that I can think of right now to tell you about myself. Chris is my one and only husband. We have two children, two beautiful girls grown and successful well if I can think of anything else on my way home I'll come back if not I'll just say if y'all have any more questions and would like me to do this more often feel free to let me know in the comments uh, I love to do new things and this was kind of a new thing for me hope I didn't ramble too much but I'll just say for now until Hey y'all, I'm back. <laughs> I'm sitting here in the Chinese place's uh, parking lot and I looked at all of my comments uh, from this morning's video. And there was another question in there from Vicki that I'll get to in just a second. And also, yes, <laughs> that uh, cream pineapple, I said was a pineapple. <laughs> is really an artichoke. I don't eat artichokes, so I really, and I've never cooked an artichoke in my life. I mean, I know what they look like, but I look like a pineapple to me, so duh me, I'm sorry. There's the cotter girl coming out in me there. <laughs> Not knowing the difference between a, an artichoke and a pineapple. Go Arlen. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, now, Vicki's question was, 
in my video the other day when I was using that little glue pot from Kristen and I moved away from it and I and I pulled out my glue gun which I love that glue gun you guys that glue gun, glue gun that Chris got me for Christmas is awesome it is awesome and it's much easier to pull the trigger and it is wonderful and I'll try to remember to put a link in the script the description for that too but Vicki you're right I did move away from that little glue pot I didn't like it it didn't get one it didn't get hot enough to melt the glue sufficiently now I was using a goodness I don't know what that was all about one bleep beep but at me I'm just sitting here um, they say you can use uh, glue, hot glue pillows or pellets, I think, uh, but they also gave you the little uh, attachment, you know, where I had my glue stuck. You can use glue sticks too, which is what I used, what I was using. And I kept pushing it down and pushing it down and making sure that it was melting, but it never got really hot and it was always really thick and goopy. Now. Uh, so I moved away from that and I, I to tell you the truth I'm going to take that little thing to Goodwill I'm not going to keep that little that little uh, glue pot uh, I may keep it for a little while and try it one more time but I, I doubt it I doubt it if I do anything I think Dell I think you were the one that um, said this a, a couple of you to Dell and maybe two or three others that also said that you guys use like an electric skillet like a small electric skillet from Walmart, um, you know, that didn't cost anything that is, you know, but that will sufficiently melt the glue. So if I go back to a glue pot, I think that that's what I'll do. I think I'll just go to Walmart and get a cheap electric skillet and try it that way. <clears throat> but even with my lantern yesterday, which is somewhere where I would have used that real pretty blue, uh, lantern centerpiece I would use a glue pot with a lantern centerpiece I think because I when I stick the stuff into the into the sprays you know I could use a glue pot probably but I did fine with my glue gun so you know I'm thinking I will probably I'm kind of old-fashioned too you know so I'm, I'm thinking I might just stick with my glue gun now that I have a really nice glue gun <laughs> I'm warning you now that's not a cheap glue gun Chris really went all out and bought me a, it was like $100 for that, so. People are in a hot hurry today. I'm going 55 and a 45 right now, and they're passing me like I'm sitting still. Gee whiz. But there you go, Vicki, to answer your question. I, uh, and thank you also, Vicki, for saying that, you know, for, um, saying about how you don't mind the time that you know my videos run a little longer that you come and go and that you know um, that the time goes by fast for you I'm, I'm grateful for to you for saying that I appreciate you saying that and um, I try not to watch the clock too much I really do uh, but I, I really don't like to go over I mean I can on YouTube I could make them two hours long if I wanted to my goodness can you imagine how long it would take me to edit an, a two hour long video and I, I, I mean I've seen some lives and they don't edit those they just put them up you know that have been two two and a half hours long I'm thinking my goodness that's a long time so I mean there are times when I have put two to three hours of footage down into 30 minutes to 45 minutes you know worth of editing time it takes a long time to edit it takes a long time to edit somebody had asked me another time what program I use this wasn't in this group of questions but I'll go ahead and answer this I use an Apple computer I have a MacBook MacBook Pro computer and the editing program came with my computer and it's called iMovie it just it was sold with my computer and that's what I use I don't and I'm back <laughs> sorry about that uh, I am been thinking about maybe getting um, Final Cut Pro it's a new not a new it's not new at all but it's new to me it's another editing program that would give me more choices you know I'm pretty good at iMovie now and you know I like to do my little editings and my little transitions and you know all of that so I'm pretty good with that so if I get Final Cut Pro that would be a I'd have to learn how to do that 
So I'm thinking about that. I don't know whether I'm, you know, need to do that because it's not cheap. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But that's about it. I'm about home, you guys. I have talked with you guys pretty much other than when I've talked with Kristen. <laughs> I've talked with you guys and all the way to get my hair done and then all the way back again. So fixing to go in here and say hey to Chris and we're going to have some Chinese for dinner. I'm loving my hair color. It's so pretty. I love it when it's first colored like that. And I love how it feels when you first come out of the hairdresser. Oh my goodness. It's so, she really, she, I just love the way she colors it. And y'all, I am pretty much completely gray. I am fighting that gray hair. My hair is so fine as it is. At least the color gives me some oomph, some oomph and some, some body. But if I let my hair go all gray, it is, oh my goodness, I don't think I'd be able to have any control of it at all. So, but anyway, all right, I'm going to end this one now, finally. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what's next in the queue. This will be my last video of the week this week, though. <laughs> so, I will not see you again till Monday, probably, with something. I would imagine Monday or Tuesday. And, uh... Have a good weekend. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and and uh, does something that they really want to do or rests or whatever. Whatever you want to do, I hope that, that you get to do it. <laughs> I hope everyone's health is, is doing well and you don't have anything that you're anxious about right now. And as I said earlier, I always keep you guys in my thoughts and my prayers. And I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.